Hello and welcome. Today we'll be discussing the rare Bola Attack Mariner with Double Claw Launcher and Mutant Eel, the final Mariner action figure in Kenner's 1995 Waterworld toy line. Welcome to the Atoll, your home for Waterworld fandom. On this channel, we analyze the cinematic universe of Waterworld in hopes of making new discoveries about this cult sci-fi adventure franchise. In this video, we will focus on the Bola Attack Mariner, the rarest of the basic figures from the Waterworld toy line. Looking first at the packaging for this toy, we find the familiar design and logo with the figure and its large weapon filling out the plastic bubble impressively. The back of the card has an image of the entire toy line and directions for how to use the various features of this specific toy. Now, taking a look at the figure out of the packaging, we are greeted with what might be the coolest and most radical paint job in the entire toy line. The Mariner sports turquoise blue trousers, shirt, and scarf, and a beige patchwork vest. He is also outfitted with gray ski boots complete with a boot knife and these spectacular metallic blue gloves. This outfit is reminiscent of that worn by Kevin Costner in the first half of the film. Be sure to check out my other videos on the Waterworld figures for even more details on the creation of the Mariner's costume. Looking at the head sculpt, we see that, like all the Mariner figures, it has a fantastic resemblance to actor Kevin Costner. Though, it might be interesting to know here that Kevin Costner did not lend his likeness to all of the projects that used the Waterworld license. Merchandise released around the time of the film used images of the film's star prominently, with Costner's likeness being used in the video games, on the trading cards, and even the logo on various products. However, Waterworld projects created after the film's release do not have Costner's appearance anywhere near them. For instance, on the promotional material for the Universal Studio Live show, or the 1997 released Waterworld, The Quest for Dryland, PC game. Perhaps most famously, Costner prohibited the use of his likeness in the Children of the Lothiathan comic book series. Upon being given the assignment to pencil the book, artist Kevin Kobasic immediately sat down to learn to draw Kevin Costner, but after turning in the initial promo art, he learned that Costner declined permission to use his likeness. Kobasic then recast the Mariner character with a more, quote, hard edge, someone with more internalized rage, someone with more of a look of an outsider, someone with more hair. A look that works in its loose 90s comic book sort of way. Though I will say that the Mariner on the cover art of issues 1 through 3 created by Lou Harris look odd and disproportional, and the Mariner's face looks a little like Kurt Russell to me. It's not until issue number 4 of The Children of the Leviathan that we get the classic cover created by Alex Malave. Let's now turn back to the review with a look at the Double Claw Launcher. This is a double-barreled projectile launcher that attaches to the Mariner's waist. The large weapon is stabilized by hand grips that the figure can hold, and also with this staff accessory that threads the hole in the middle of the claw launcher and that helps offset the front-heavy nature of this firearm. The tethered claw projectile loads into the front of the two barrels and fires with a push of the orange button in the back. And I have to say, this projectile weapon has a hair trigger and a super powerful spring. It even took me a while to break in the double claw launcher and make it so they would not fire prematurely. The Double Claw Launcher is sculpted to fit within the Waterworld universe with rust, scratches, and it seemingly being created from random found parts. Though I should note that a similar Bola-style weapon has been used in other Kenner toy lines, from Batman to Predator. However, my favorite is the Jurassic Park Alan Grant Series 2 figure with double-barreled Bola Launcher, another favorite from my childhood. 
At this point, I would like to mention that the Bola Attack Manor is actually the most expensive and rarest toy in the Waterworld basic figure line. The number of Bola Attack Mariners produced seems to be about one third to that of the rest of the figures in the line, causing this figure to run about three times the price of the other figures. This always seemed odd to me since Kenner chose this version of the Mariner to be on the box art of the Trimoran playset, leading us to believe that this might be the definitive Mariner figure by the toy maker's standards. However, I am not the only one to notice the rarity of the Bola Attack Mariner. Looking at the fan letters in the back of the Children of the Leviathan comic number 3, Brandon Walsh of Chicago, Illinois writes, I have all of the Waterworld action figures except the Bola Attack Mariner. Was it ever released? So even back in 1997, this figure was scarce. But why is this figure rarer than the others in the toy line? Well, we can only speculate. Perhaps the toy was produced with a malfunction, for instance, mine has a hair trigger that will sometimes fire on its own. Or perhaps Kenner cancelled the production of the figure early, given the film's disappointing box office returns, resulting in less figures hitting the shelves. Maybe we'll never know. But if you do have any of your own theories, let me know in the comments below. I will end this video, as I do with all the basic figures, with a look at the packed in mutant, in this case, the mutant eel. This may be the smallest of the mutants, but it does not lack in detail. It sports fins, scales, nightmarish mouth, and even sprouting arms. And the deep purple color is among my favorite in the collection truly mutatious. But where else can we find the mutant eel in the Waterworld Expanded Universe? A mutant eel appears in the underwater levels of the Super NES game, the Game Boy game, and the Sega Genesis game. A mutant eel also makes an appearance in the Children of the Leviathan comic book and is also among the sea life in the pinball game. Well, there you have it. That's my in-depth look at the Bola Attack Mariner with Double Claw Launcher and Mutant Eel. Please be sure to check out the rest of the channel as we complete the reviews for the entire Waterworld toy line. And thanks, as always, for joining me at the Atoll.